Hey guys, it's Coach Dean from Brooks Bearcat Bootcamp, and today we have a killer workout. Today's workout is called the core, and who better to illustrate the core than Coach Swen, the core killer, right? So without further ado, we're gonna get started. A few things to note before we get started. This workout is a massive circuit. We have eight exercises in this circuit. You're gonna go all the way through each and every exercise. And as soon as you complete those exercises, you're gonna take a one to a two minute break and then back to the top of these exercises. All right, let's get this one started. Let's go. Our first exercise is the feet up crunch. In this one, we're gonna bring the knees to about 90 degrees. Let me get the other one. Good. Next, we're gonna bring our hands right behind our head and we're gonna crunch up and close in, making sure we're squeezing about a second or two before we go back down. Let's have an example. One, two, and then now we're down. Let's get one more. One, two, and we're down again. One, two, and we're down. Now, if you can't hold your feet in this position, you can go by a chair, you can go by your bed, you can use your couch, right? So anything you can get your hands on that's close to this height, even if it's a bit higher, that's fine. As long as you can't hold your leg this way, try one of the alternatives. Our next exercise is the starfish crunch. It is one of my favorite exercises for the abs. Uh, we're gonna start with our hands apart, and now we're gonna bring our feet apart. Perfect, just like a starfish. Now I'm gonna take my left hand, and I'm gonna drive it all the way down to my right foot, okay? Being sure I'm getting my shoulders off the ground and try to get up and meet that leg. Let's go. One, now switch. Two, let's go. Three, there we go. Four, good. Try to get off the ground as best as you can. Don't just try to reach and not reach. However, if you don't have that ability, you don't have the strength, go as far as you can. All right, let's get it. Our next exercise is the plank reach, a dynamic version of the traditional plank. In this, we're gonna start in the traditional plank position. Get up, good. And now I wanna make sure that my hips isn't too high or my hips isn't too low. We want the hips just right. Now from this position, I'm gonna reach my hand out, left arm, right? And then I'm gonna reach my right foot out off the ground and down, and that's one, and switch. Two, switch, three, switch, four. Now, if this is a bit difficult, we don't have to move uh, the legs. We can just go out with the hands only. One, two, three, but be sure to complete the rep. Let's go. Now our next exercise is the single leg glute bridge. We're gonna get into a traditional glute bridge position by first bending those knees, bring those heels close to the butt. We have our hand or right here for support. Now we're gonna drive the hip. It's very important to really engage the hip, squeeze those butt in order to engage the hip here. Now, because it's single leg, we're now gonna extend the knee right here. So we don't want you dropping down to here. Now, if that's all you can do, you're gonna do that, then you're gonna keep on progressing as you go up. But this ideally is the position that I want. Now, you're gonna hold this position for whatever the allotted time is in your program. A couple of things. If this feels like it's a bit too easy for you, why don't you try bringing your arms up so you lose that support. Now you're engaging the core a bit more. Let's try that one. Let's go. Our next exercise is the cross punch sit-up. Now, you're gonna bend these knees, 
bring that heel close to the butt, not all the way up on the butt, both of these, right, into a nice sit-up position. Then you're going to get up, start initiate the movement from the abs first, and then we're going to punch, and we're going to try to get a transverse movement where we're punching across the body, hence the name cross punch. We're going to try one, and then opposite side, two, three, let's get four, four, good, stay right there. Now, if this is a bit hard, we can modify this by bringing the legs out straight. Now we're gonna try that again. One, let's go. Two, good, squeeze that ab, squeeze as you get up. Three, stop. Now, was that a bit, ah! <laughs> was that a bit easier? Yeah. It was? Good, let's see you give it a try. Good. We're almost at the bottom of this workout. Now we're at the side plank. Let me see. So with the side plank, a few things, right? Try to make sure your shoulders is in line with your hips and this hip is in line with the ankle. Oftentimes you see a person bending back here when they should be forward and we're gonna get up, should be forward here and try to maintain this position the entire time. Squeeze the abs and just try to breathe and relax, okay? How you feel? Great. Feel good? <laughs> Strong abs, all right. Let's give that one a good try. Now, we're up to another one of my favorite ab routine, the bicycle crunch, <laughs> okay? Let's get in position. So here, I'm gonna start with my hands behind my head, and what I want, I wanna pedal my feet, kind of like I'm riding a bicycle, right? But I'm gonna try, I'm gonna attempt to get my elbow close to the opposite knee. So left elbow, right knee, right elbow, left knee. Let's give it a go. Start pedaling, good. And try to just keep that ab engaged the entire time. Breathe, an important part of this is to try to breathe. Sometimes when doing ab workout, that's enough. Sometimes when you're doing your ab routine, you feel like you wanna hold your stomach in and you're holding, you're squeezing, and you forget to breathe. Remember, breathing is a big part of this, right? Let's give it a go. And our final workout of this workout is the Superman or the Superwoman. With this exercise, we're focusing on the lower back and squeezing those glutes, all right? So we're gonna start with our feet slightly outside of our shoulder width or we can be right under the shoulder width. Either is fine. And we're gonna put our hands on the back of our heads here. And now I'm gonna flex and squeeze this back into a hyperextension and down. And I, want, I really want you to have about a one to two to three second hold if you can do that. Preferably, let's try to get a two second hold. If you can do a three, that's amazing. So we're going up, we're squeezing the glutes down. Good, and up, and every time we get up, we're squeezing the glutes, we're opening up the chest and we're holding, and then we're back down. And the feet, there, one more time, the feet is coming off the ground, it's floating in the air, and then everything goes back. <laughs> we wanna thank you guys for tuning in to this week's workout. Yep. The core. Now, we know it was a doozy, was it? <laughs> it was. All right, but I know you guys have been with us for a while now. You're gonna be able to get through this, okay? Remember to warm up, remember to cool down, remember to hydrate, and remember to fuel your body after you completed your exercise. Now, with that said, go forth and kill the core. Peace. <laughs>